I'll look over at the camera. <laughs> now here we are in the allotment, easy peasy gardening. Hello, I'm Iona. I'm going to show you today how to plant potatoes. These have been what is called chitted. In other words, they've been sitting in our garage. They're supposed to be in a light area. And it's to allow these little shoots to come. You'll see these little shoots come through in March when you buy potatoes. Even in the supermarket, they start to want to grow. Some people knock off all the chits and leave just two. I just put the potato in the ground and it grows fine. Now, what we have to do is, we've had manure in this ground, cow manure, which was delivered, but you can still grow potatoes without the manure, but you just get a better crop with your manure. And we've had a big strong boy dig the trench for the potatoes. They don't need to be terribly deep. This ground has been dug, it's had the manure in it, so it's quite well what they call aerated. It's, in other words, the roots can get down and grow fine. So we're just going to pop them in. Some people just fling them in like that, depending if you're a farmer or not. But a good idea is to take them like this and place them so the chits are pointing up the way, because that's the way they're going to grow. Just pop them in and put them just about that distance apart, probably even further apart. It's up to yourself, but that's how I do it. You can do it further apart, you could do them that distance, or you could do them a bit closer. It's up to you, but give each potato a good space to grow. It depends how much soil you've got and how much earth you've got, so nothing is regulated. <laughs> If you've got a little patch of ground, you obviously can't give them an awful lot of space between them, but they'll grow anyway, so don't worry. Now, it's still quite cold. It's a misty day, but these will be fine. They'll be in the ground, and they'll be kept f from the frost with the soil on top. They don't need to be terribly deep. Some of the potato experts say just three inches under the soil. But where it's colder up north here, I tend to put a little bit more on them. If there's frost or that, you could cover them with fleece and things like that, but I wouldn't worry about them. They'll be fine. Potatoes are tough. You get different varieties of potatoes. Some of them are what you call blight-free. That means they don't get a disease, which basically rots the potato and they don't store well. In fact, that's what caused the potato blight in Ireland in the 1800s. But um, you tend to find some of the modern varieties. Cara's a good one, super potato. Um, there's also red Duke of Yorks. I've grown the Duke of Yorks. They're quite good. The red ones are better, I find, than the other ones. They're a bit tougher with a good skin. But I'm not a potato expert, but just ask around who's had good potatoes in their garden and read some books up, get on the internet, etc. And you'll soon find out. And again, it's trial and error. Some people don't even buy their potatoes. They use last year's potatoes as their seed potatoes, which you can do, but that can cause a little bit disease, they say. So it's up to you. Don't worry, they'll come fine. In fact, I've seen me emptying the compost heap and I've got a whole pile of potatoes that have just grown through the winter in the compost heap. Yes. What I'm planting in there is basically the root of your potato, which gives off green shoots. The green shoots will come up. Once they're just about that high, it's a good idea. You can put a, it's called Murphy solution. You'll get in the garden centers and that stops the blight. But some varieties you don't need to do that. But what to do is a little bit trial and error. See if you need the Murphy solution. Preferably you don't use chemicals and things like that. It's up to yourself, it's your own um, preference. But these should grow fine. You don't need to water your potatoes. 
uh, not at the moment putting them in. They'll be fine. You'll see them coming up. Now, once they do start to come up, you do what is called earthing them up. And all you're going to be doing is put, taking the soil around them and building it up round the actual green shoot. Excuse me. And the reason that you're doing that is to stop your potatoes going green underneath. Allow the foliage to come through. And once you see the flowers coming on the potato plant, just as they're starting to die, you can really start to dig your potatoes up. In fact, we do a wee test just when we see them. When is that, October? Um, no, no, no. August. August. Yes, um, depending on the variety, you get different types of potatoes. You just get early potatoes and then there's... Um, ones that you'll plant a little later and ones that are later still. But we just put the potatoes in in March and up they come. So we don't really heed too much about earlies and lates and that. But it's up to yourself, whatever you want to do. But make sure you earth them up because green potatoes are poisonous. They have what's known as arsenic in them and they can make you very ill, as you could imagine. But you earth them up well. But I'll show you that later. Once the potatoes come up, I'll give you a, a little shot. So that's all for now from Easy Peasy Gardening. Thank you.